this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about using rocks in the garden. Now everybody concentrates on the plants, materials, but they forget about adding rocks to the garden because they add so much interest. And rocks are cool, they rock. And so there's so many things that you should consider when you're using rocks. First of all, rocks are heavy. This rock weighs a ton, so it's one ton of fun. But you just can't pick it up and bring it home in your car. So you've got to make sure when you're selecting your rocks that you have it delivered and that they are set in the spot they're, they're going to be positioned in for the rest of your life because they're not easy to move. But once they're there, they're there forever and that's the best part. I love rocks because they remind me of the Flintstones and I feel like I'm in an episode of the Flintstone whenever I'm around all the rocks. This lantern is beautiful. You can put candles in it and it'll just glow and make your garden just go shazam. So when selecting different types of rocks, make sure that they're not too big for your garden. If you have a small garden, this is going to be way too big. But that the rocks are in comparison with your garden. So if you have a small garden, use small rocks. If you have a big garden, use big rocks. Now rocks can be very practical too. I love this bench and this chair set. And they are solid as can be. They're never going to break for eternity. And they're great. Again, I feel like I'm in a Flintstones episode, and it doesn't get any better than that. Now, stones can be used for art, too. And there's a long history of every civilization has carved art. But it's wonderful to add stone carvings into your personal garden because they bring the past into the future and they will last for centuries. And there's so many different designs that you can select from and it is really an art. I really feel that we should protect and encourage different types of trades like different types of stone cutters because these people are artists. So stone art and cutting into art has been a trade for centuries. And I love taking the past and bringing it into the future. So if you have a local stone cutter, or you know where you can purchase it, or you can go online, it's wonderful to support all of the artisans of the world because it's a trade that belongs in the future. And it's wonderful to have all types of stone art in your garden because it's so beautiful and it'll stand the test of time. Thank you.